It's good to see you guys. Um, I'm proud of that team in, in the locker room there. Just the grit that they showed. And um, you look at, I mean, I told them this, you, you know, to, um, to go through the season that we did and to continue to believe and to, um, to not let the outside get on the inside. All those things are just really hard. You know, I think nowadays it's multiplied times 100, you know, the force of the outside. And so just way proud of them. And uh, you, there's grit and fight today. I think, you know, there's things that you wish look prettier today uh, than they, than they, they do. Uh, but you can't, you can't mistake the fight and um, the effort and the care factor. And so I'm way proud of that, uh, staff and, uh, and players. Take any questions you guys got. Dave, what was the impetus that got y'all to this point in terms of, you, you mentioned it, you know, to turn it around like you did? I mean, what do you feel like was the biggest thing? I think it was back, it's probably a year ago, you know, this game. It was back in, you know, November or December. I think it was then, you know, and I think everyone knew we had a good team. I know that we can point to the two and four. I think that's, you can, that's easy to do. But I think everybody felt like, you know, we're being buried, but we're still alive. You know, it's hard to breathe when they're putting dirt on you. You know what I mean? And so to get some oxygen and to breathe a little bit, I mean, I think you look at Devin Bobby and, and uh, is a great example of it. So Devin has the opportunity to make picks and he drops them and now all of a sudden he's grabbing picks out of the air all over the place. And so that's just the power of belief and the power of uh, being positive. It's cool to see. Coach, uh, with it being senior night, in the beginning with that ceremony, meeting with each individual family, what were kind of the words that you were telling them and how much do they mean to the program? Yeah, a lot, you know, I think um, there's guys that have been with us for a long time. There's guys that have been with us for a little bit of time. But um, I've got so much respect for them. I think there's, there's guys that have, the guys that have been, been with us for a little time, some of them this has been however many number school we are. And, uh, you know, for just their, their character and their development and their growth is just really cool to see. I think that's one of the things I love about Baylor is that Baylor can do that and can affect somebody in such a positive way. And so you can see that. And when I see their families, I see that on their faces too. They, they, they know that. And then for the, the dudes that have been here for a long time, I mean, it's been a roller coaster of all of it. And for them to kind of stay, um, to stay focused on just individual improvement and to not, um, you know, to not, I, I don't know how else to say it, to not be a fan and to be, you know, way up and then to be way down, but to continue with kind of, hey, these are the things we got to do, to continue on. You know, I'm, I can do this to continue on. You know, I'm made for this. It's hard to do, you know, and they did it. So I have a lot of respect for them. Dave, we heard from you in fall camp, you know, that you knew this was a good team. Mm -hmm. uh, you just had to go out and show it. Mm -hmm. Kyler said they feel like they could play anybody right now mm -hmm. in the country. Is that kind of the feeling in the locker room? And how do you, how do you build off of all of this? I think there's a lot of confidence. I think, you know, we probably didn't have um, a ton of just confident guys on the team maybe a year ago. We brought in guys specifically for some of that, and I think it's meshed pretty good, you know. I think there's – we were just talking about it in the locker room there. Um, it's a little bit more of an art than a science, but um, – you know, I think the confidence that some of our transfers got, and then I think some of the guys that have been, I look at like Ryan Langill, that's been here for a while and has uh, kind of been a guy in the background, he is all of a sudden now fighting in the front. We've got to get Ryan off from like starting fights with all different types of nose tackles and defensive ends and, and three techniques. And 
Ryan's just, he's um, so physical and, and violent and all this other thing. And so here's a boy that just needed an opportunity to be believed in, to do his thing. And so I think you've got all of that. I think once you have that confidence and you have that belief, it's way contagious. And so, like I say, proud, proud of them. Coach, what has made this offense so consistently efficient over the last, you know, six games, obviously, but today especially with 200-yard receivers, 200-yard running backs, and then Sawyer continuing? What has made this offense so consistently efficient? Yeah, I think uh, Spav's got a really good uh, scheme. And so, you know, we've talked about it before. The, the, the run is a downhill run. So it's like back when um, – uh, back like maybe in the 80s, you know, when Walter Payton was getting the run, there was uh, uh, like Matt Suey was blocking for him. There was a lead blocker, you know, and so there's like a fullback or something like that. So like when that, when the blocker goes in the gap, he, you know, there's one gap, but that blocker goes in, it creates another gap, you know, so that blocker is two gaps. And so um, we base out of that with the tight end in the core, so they run it like that. So now you've got to get people that are outside the box to come in. Well, once you do that, you saw all the quick passes today to Monterey and all this other thing. Then you've got really elite speed. I think our speed and our athleticism at receiver is as good as any anywhere. I think that would be reason number two. Okay, so you got the scheme, and then you got really, really talented speed, and you got tight ends that can go the distance too. And so it's just a that's a matchup problem. You know, if it's if you're going to play 11 on 11, you don't match up. And so I, I credit, you know, our recruiters, I credit Spav, I credit our playmakers. They all have to, to kind of do their part to get what you're getting right now. Dave, I don't know how much you care about yards, but defense obviously gave up some yards. But mm -hmm. getting three turnovers, a fourth down stop, another stop that they didn't make the field go on. How big was that for them to kind of maybe bend but don't break? Yeah, it's really big. I think somewhere in there, I was um, losing my mind on the sidelines. And uh, I think I was, I feel bad for our defensive coaches. They have to listen to me. But I was just saying, man, where it's almost like we're destined to give up 30 points a game. You know, I think we can play some, somewhat decently. And offensively, we score so fast. And, um, you know, I get to the, the sidelines on defense, and everybody's smiling, and they're happy. And it's like you shouldn't, you know, f and be happy right now. You need to be, fine. you need to be f and pissed off. What the, what, you know? And it's like this came up too in 2019 at LSU. This was the similar problem. And so like you have to play your best up 20 points in the third quarter. And so it just goes against basically human nature to do that. And we've failed pretty strong in that in that area. You look at all these games that we haven't closed out, and so the fourth down stop was a little bit of a win. So I'll, you know, we'll take it. Coach, you talk about belief. Your players get up and they talk about faith. Their faith. What has? Uh, can you pinpoint a moment where that started to really turn during the season? And obviously, you're looking for players that are going to buy into what y'all are doing. Can you pinpoint uh, where that when that happened? Yeah, that was back again. And um, I think coaching wise, when we were um, with the guys that were coming back and then the guys that were new, that was all in November and December. And then I think for the players, that was in January. That was with, uh, you know, just the, the amount of time we're spending on football, you know? And uh, um, there'd be times in those, you have a time limit you can spend. And, uh, prior to this year, we would spend the, the least amount of time on that and spend time on things that I think if, you know, whether it's academics, and these are all things that I think are, really, are things I believe in and things that I think are way important. But I probably did too much of that. And so we just did football. And so guys could see the difference right away. So I think that was, that was when you could feel the change. Dave, you mentioned that sometimes it's more of an art than a science, mm -hmm. correct me if I'm wrong, but I take you as more of a scientist than an artist. Mm -hmm. uh, how much growth have you made as a, as a head coach, mm -hmm. I mean, over the course of this season? Yeah, I mean, I think this is, there's been a couple cycles of all of that. I think it's been, the growth has been exhausting, you know. 
But I think it's important because I think the, the game is changing. You know, I, I, if you just look at the schematics, just what offensively we saw today from Kansas, there was never an offense. There's, you know, we just saw a bunch of unbalanced, you know, trick plays, motions, all these other things. There wasn't one team in 2019 that did that. And so the game is completely different now, too, you know. And But then I think with um, um, whether it's what you got to do for recruiting, what you've got to do, I guess, to be cool, what you've got to do to um, um, uh, to um, to win in a really, really competitive environment takes change. And it takes, um, you know, it takes you looking in the mirror. When do you think Sawyer turned the corner like this season? Yeah, I thought, you know, um, when Sawyer's at his best, he has a great um, ability uh, to be patient and to put such great touch on the ball in whether it's tight coverage or there's pressure. Or, you know, when he is at his worst, uh, he kind of has the happy feet and uh, he'll push the ball kind of like shot put it and stuff. And so throughout the season, um, you know, I think when you look at the last, last last week's game, you saw some of that. You saw some of the happy feet, you saw some of the shot putting. And so that was really kind of what was happening in spring in, in spurts is you saw some of that. And so I thought, you know, from going in from spring to fall and just the focus on, you know, and it was more a lot of it was just, hey, this is a new offense and a good spav. Kind of settle all down. These are the, this is where your read go. This is where you know, hey, settle down. This is where your eyes got to go. This put the ball out. This is your outlet. I think once it became more comfortable there, so it was really kind of fall camp. You could see just a huge increase in his uh, productivity and then confidence. And then once he had the opportunity, um, you know, with the injury to DQ. And again, I, you know, the Dev and Bobby principle of just, hey, there's, there's people believing in you. There's people that know you can do it. There's people that are all, all the way backing you. He just took off. You know? So I think a lot of the work came from spring to fall. And then once he had his chance and people were believing him, there's no stopping him. Coach, obviously you wanted to win today's game and focus on today's game. But have you been following any of the 250 Big 12 championship scenarios and flow charts and everything that could get y'all into the uh, game? No, no. Um, I, you know, I've, I've, I've heard about it though. You know, I'm, I know that the 11 o'clock games are, are, are tough for folks to make at times, you know. I think as coaches though, it's cool because we get to be like y'all when we have 11 o'clock games, you know. We get to now with a victory kind of go back home, be a fan and why did they call that play? You know, they should have done this. Why did they do that? You know, we get to do that too. And so I'm looking forward to doing that with the family and uh, seeing kind of how things shake out. But in the meantime, just way proud of the team, the coaches, their effort. And, um, you know, I just feel like what is being built here uh, can be sustained uh, because of the quality of the people that we have. Kyler, just an all around kind of team win today. Um, you know, how good did this feel to kind of close it out on senior day like this? Feels great. Feels great. Feels great for these guys, you know. Uh, they put so much into this, you know. Who would have thought that we would have came back from two and four, you know, and it's just so cool just to play through that adversity, you know, for these guys. So to come out with the win means a lot. Trevin, I think this is the second straight week, uh, four turnovers last week, I guess, including the, the kickoff coverage. Mm -hmm. Three picks today. How big was that? Devin Bobby in particular with what he was able to do. Yeah, Devin had a great game. Um, those are momentum changers, you know, and, and that's what uh, we, we talked about all week is uh, backing up the offense, you know, getting them the ball back. Kyler, going back to that Colorado game, uh, I remember that, you know, you post game just saying we're not going to let this happen again. Uh, now, fast forward to today, like these present emotions. What is what is the feeling for you? Just it's like a sense of accomplishment. What what's there? Yeah, it's just it's just crazy, you know, to see it all full circle. You know, we going into that bye week, we knew like this isn't it, you know, and just to see us actually like put it 
put it on tape, you know, and finish finish with six game win streak is just it's unbelievable. Trevin, you guys limited them to just 62 rushing yards in the second half. What was the switch there to just make sure you stopped the Kansas rush? Um, we knew that going into this game, um, they were going to have uh, a lot of moving pieces, and uh, they, they're really good at what they do. So um, it just came down to a want and uh, the, the will to out edge and out physical them. Tyler, what was the impetus for this six game winning streak? What got y'all there? Man, I think the biggest thing is just belief, you know, like knowing that we could do it. I think as soon as we started playing with the confidence, starting starting in Lubbock, uh, just in letting it build on each other, you know, there's just a belief in the locker room that, like, we feel like we could play anybody right now. For either of you, a lot of big plays in between the 20s, but when they got down into the red zone, y'all were able to stop them several times. How were y'all able to uh, keep them out so well? I think it's just a will, you know. Uh, it's our end zone, and they're they're not getting in. You know, we made a few mistakes to let them get down there, and it's like, are we going to finish it? Like, we finish the season, or are we just going to let them, just going to let them score? So, uh, yeah, just a will. Can you, Kyler? Can you talk us through that fourth down stop, and just you showed all that emotion there. What was going through your head in that moment? It's just awesome. I think fourth down stops are like the coolest thing in football. Uh, just I, I was always taught, re, like, raise, like, football should be played from the three, from the one yard line in, you know. Uh, and so it's just, just plays like that, just fourth and inches, you know, getting off the field is just, there's nothing like it. Kyler, you, you talked about some of the seniors, I think, but what has Matt Jones meant to this team and this program and to have him have the year like he's had? What, what does it mean for this defense overall? Man, it's just so cool to see just the <clears throat> tenacity. I mean, he's playing he's playing more beat up than anybody even knows, and he doesn't even show it. Um, and I think that is just the coolest thing about that guy is his grit and his want, and he just cares so much about the team and not, not much about himself. And it's just to see him succeed the way he has this season is really, really cool. Trevin, does it uh, matter to you guys what bowl game you play in? I mean, perhaps someplace tropical? Yeah, well, you know, um, not really. Uh, I'd like to go somewhere tropical, um, you know, and um, they say the, the more winds you have, the, the more warmer the place is. So I'd like that. But, um, just blessed and grateful to be a part of this. Tyler, how much are you guys watching the results today, you know, unfold? You guys took care of your business. Now you got Kind of got just got to sit in the passenger seat and watch. Yeah, yeah, it's it's nice, honestly, just to be able to sit down, relax, watch watch some football as a fan. Um, but it's just really interesting, you know. Just never would have thought that um, we'd be in this position, you know. It's kind of those things you can look back and be like, man, if we would that one play, you know. Uh, and so that's a whole nother part of it. But uh, but it's cool. It's cool that we're even in in this position. Sawyer, so just a kind of complete team win today uh, to send the seniors out like this how special was that uh it's super special obviously all the glory goes to god um wouldn't be here without him but uh yeah to, to just everything the seniors have been through from uh you know the big 12 championship to three and nine to the two and four start to this season uh i'm so happy for all of them all of them play an important part on this team and to to kind of finish the game the to finish the game we did and to finish the season we did it's it's super special Bryson, I guess just how sweet did this feel? I mean, like Sawyer so was talking about, where you guys started to went to now, and you got to top a thousand yards, top the freshman record. What was today like for you? Um, it was a blessing, honestly. Man, I'm so grateful for the O line, the coaching staff, and the guys just around it, around me. Like they, they, these guys like pushed me to be the best I could be. Like Sawyer for sure. You know, um, I just believe like it was all in God. Like it was God's plan. This was already written. So are you hit uh, Monterey a couple of times on what looked like the same exact play? Was that something that obviously y'all were looking for? And what was it like to get him a big, a couple of big plays on senior day? Oh, that was awesome. So happy for Monterey. Um, such a good, good teammate, good athlete. 
fun to throw to just because he can run run by everybody basically. Uh, but yeah, no, it was a, it was a, it was the same route. It was just out of two different formations. One of them we uh, one of we one of them we max proed it, and uh, I just let it fly. And then the next one we kind of like hurt tempoed into the play. Um, saw the coverage that I liked and, and gave him another chance. So it was the same route out of different formations, but uh, same result also. <clears throat> Sawyer, could you imagine kind of where you're sitting today, like at the, at the beginning of the season, you know, when you're not the starter and all that, and now you're on a six-game winning streak and you are the starter and you're playing well. Like, could you imagine this moment back then? Um. <laughs> I don't really know. That's a that's a good question. Um, I just think I think God's bigger than the situations and circumstances we find ourselves in. Um, the two and four start, the if I was the starter or the backup, He's bigger than all of that. And um, you know I couldn't be happier to be where I'm at now um, with the teammates that I'm with, with the coaches that I'm with. Um, it's just such a such a cool moment, and I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy it just because it's not. You know, there were a couple hits today where it's like, you know, you don't know what's going to – you don't know when your last play is going to be your last play. And so uh, I'm just going to enjoy every single every single moment I can and have, have the most fun playing football that I can have because it's, it's, such a, it's such a fun sport. Bryson, what's the difference that Coach Hall has made this season, just, I guess, development-wise within the running back room and just for you personally? Um, he he gives us that um that aggressive mentality like he installs that in a, in our uh, heads. Um, in practice every Tuesday we run it through the blaster. We've been physical at practice like we practice harder than we play, and that's how it should be. And that's what he's doing for us. Sawyer, do you think you guys are the best team in the conference? The way you finished the season off, the way you're playing right now, I would say so. Yes, I think. Uh, and I think Kansas was hot too, and they had a lot to play for, playing for bowl eligibility. Um, had just beaten the three top-ranked teams in the conference, and uh, yeah, to do what we did today, I'd say it's hard to kind of argue that. I think there are a lot of other like teams that are playing really well right now, though. So, but I think yeah, we're really hot. For either of y'all, does it matter where you go bowling to you? I mean, are y'all just uh, gonna sit back and kind of let that play out? I mean, of course we want to go to a good bowl game, but I'm just grateful for whatever, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would agree with that. Um, just excited to play again.